For me, water sounds like life and death. It feels like drowning and floating freely. It smells like freedom and fur. Humanity is and always was strongly associated with water. We used to build our habitats around water sources. The river or lake was the beating heart of the community. It stimulated people's imagination and inspired artists around the world. Considering fact we are all mostly made of water, we should take better care of it. The aim of the project is to draw attention to our local water sources and encourage local communities to explore it and take care of it. The ultimate wisdom of the photographic image is to say, there is the surface, now think or rather feel into it what is beyond it. What reality must be like if it looks that way. Photographs, which cannot themselves explain anything, are inexhaustible invitations to dedication, speculation and fantasy. The very muteness of what is, hypothetically, comprehensible in photographs in what constitutes their attraction and provocativeness said Susan Zontag in her book on photography. Instead of producing simple landscapes of the river surrounding, I develop methodology which can help me create images less obvious, images which leave space for interpretation and intuition. I decided to use underwater camera to reveal dynamic hidden under the surface. I started to photograph stones, sand, plants, taking images of underwater plants became one of the main methods I use in this project. I also made a few photo shoots using fabrics under the water, inspired by Mandy Baker's images of ocean plastic. On one of them, fabric formed tail-like shape. I used it in the project as I found it not too obvious, but supporting in the clear narrative. My intention was to make it look as surreal. I wanted to picture underwater world from legends and stories which I investigated during my research. Mehmet's, Selkis, Melusines. There's no place in the world which didn't develop its own water mythology. Popularity of water spirit tales depends on the powerful material and symbolic role of water, without which life would be impossible. Inspired by Ronnie Horn project Still Water, I started to photograph water surfaces but I realized it's too much of the cliché and made some experiments which, with camera-less photography. What led me to developing cyanotypes of underwater plants. Water level in the river is low this year and some of them dried out. I used those for my work. I made cyanotypes on paper I found in charity shops or received as an answer for my post on local community platform. I asked for any unwanted photographic or craft paper. Deep blue and abstract shapes I achieved on some of them went really well as a part of the story. I focused on Slavic mythology water creature Ersauka. I'm originally Polish and this story is part of my origin and identity. The way I allocated this character in my local river in East Midlands, England can picture how we assimilate in different place and culture, how our origin and environment we live in match together and make us different individuals. Rosalkas are feminine entities. They were charming, graceful and sang wonderfully, like mermaids surrounded by a haze, luring men to destruction. Using Ronnie Horn's words, what do you know about water? Only that, it's everywhere differently. The water inside our bodies is also everywhere differently, I believe. We all are water creatures in a way. Whole ecosystem is based on the properties of water. All animals rely on it, and we also do. When I first started my project, I intended to photograph in the river, lake and the ocean. But it, it included several journeys to different locations and I was struggling to build up a narrative. Following the role Think Global, Act Local, I decided to focus on my local river where I can walk to make my practice more sustainable. 
Symbolic of the river is different than ocean, sea or lakes. Its journey from source to the mouth is widely used in art and literature as an allegory of human life and its different stages. Third and last method I use in the project is portraiture of model in the water. I use both my digital full frame camera and underwater one. From many images, including my self-portraits, I selected those which picture dual nature of Rusalka's best. From joyful, beautiful girl to dangerous, deadly monster. Some of the images in Spirit of Nene are bright and peaceful, when others are dark, disturbing. What shows different moments of our lives? This work in progress portfolio is a book project. I'm going to print most images on thin, transparent Japanese washi paper. All poems will be handwritten and book will be hand -bind. I have also prepared online exhibition and I only plan local exhibition to minimize carbon footprint on this project.